For me, it was to make sure that um, my teaching was going to benefit the students as much as possible. So when we had that TLB about the lead learners, I was consciously yeah. thinking, okay, we need to make sure that we are striving to push those A and A style students. Mm. And the sorts of activities that you showed that day, I thought, yeah, they could work in geography. So I instantly had this idea for the current topic that we were on, and I thought it'd be a bit more engaging and enjoyable mm. than standing in the front trying to teach them about rocks eroding. <laughs> okay. Which is pretty boring. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs>
language and things like that. Definitely getting them um, before the lesson, like I've said, a, a video which we could get focus on soliloquies on narration, different people reading it, it's uh, dressed up as Lady Macbeth, um, reading an extract and then getting those extracts of which they watched before and have read the, with a, like a different group focusing on a different bit um, before and then they come into the lesson and sort of um, present the soliloquy thinking about the controlled assessment question um, which they can then link to present in future lessons but having that creative um, in more engaging way to get them into it instead of just showing them a whole DVD and reading it out with my monotonous voice um, and then sort of getting them engaged differently um, outside of the classroom to bring into the classroom and link to that question. I definitely think collaborative um, teaching would be a good thing. I mean, I'd love to do it for a, a modern foreign language and have, you know, Miss Ponsley come in, you know, fuming it and talking in French about an issue that's going on, and then the girls have to try and work out what's going on, and then kind of do it in that sort of way, and then try and pick apart what Miss Ponsley is actually saying and ranting on about. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, be careful, she's watching this. <laughs> Not that you ran on anything. I think the thing that they said that they really enjoyed. Um, was I got Mr. Maxwell to pretend that he was a stakeholder at the beginning to kind of model, you know, the sorts of interests and the needs of a particular person in, in the coastline bird and watching. a bird watcher. And they really responded to that. And you know, the next session they were like, "Oh, where's Mr. Maxwell gone? Why is he not here?" <laughs> so in that way, that that kind of collaboration that worked quite well, mm -hmm. and they really enjoyed it. It was quite nice seeing some other other teachers get involved in the different subjects. They were asking me loads of questions about geography, and they were like, "So what? You're not a geography teacher?" <laughs> well, no, I'm not. But they were trying to because. Me and the lesson we find quite interesting and um, seeing other teachers take an interest in the subject and get involved in your lesson planning, I think they quite like. I think um, pupil engagement, uh, the girls are very, very interested to see another member of staff come in from outside of the department and they were quite happy to to work collaboratively to kind of not show off but to, to show their geography skills to another member of a different department. I think that's um, for a geography teacher that was very nice to see. Um, Toby. For new members of staff, it enhances friendships and staff morale between buddies and pals. Long lasting friendships. I won't forget that lesson for a long time and the lessons we had before. Um, so it's about Thanks. boosting, yeah you're welcome, it's the truth, um, boosting staff around, it, is enjoy it was enjoyable. It was very enjoyable. And it's something different, it is something different, out of the ordinary, um, to mix up your, uh, your February. So he's reading, he's reading, he's reading, he's reading, now look at the camera and do it. I'm going to do it. That's again. perfect! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I think another pencil. <laughs>